1200 newton crate rests on the floor. How much work is required to move it at a constant speed 5 meter along the floor against a friction force of 230 newtons and b 5 meters vertically? First we'll solve for the a. We have to move our crate horizontally and the distance we will move will be 5 meters. What forces will act on the crate? Of course, we'll have gravity force, we'll have normal force, but these two forces perpendicular to the displacement, so we don't have to do any work against this force. But we will have friction force, Fk, to the left. We have magnitude of this friction force. To overcome this friction force, you have to apply at least the same force F by magnitude and opposite by direction as your kinetic friction force. So the work you have to do, the work done by the force F, would be our force F, magnitude, times displacement, 5 meters, times cosine of the angle between displacement and force, between this and these arrows, angle is 0 degree. So we have force 230 newtons times 5 meters if you will multiply them, you will have 1200 joules. This is a work you have to do to move horizontally this grate. This is A section. B section. Now you have to move your crate vertically at the same distance, 5 meters. At this motion, you have to overcome gravity force, which is SMG. If you want to move your crate without any acceleration, the force you have to apply has to be equal the mg force, but oppositely directed. So we can claim that the work done by our force would be the force times displacement times cosine of the angle between displacement vector and force vector zero degree in our case. So now we have to have force mg times 5 meters or 1200 newtons times gravity acceleration 9.8 meter per second square times 5 meter if you multiply all of these quantities you will have 6000 roughly joules so this is a work done against gravity force we solved the problem